Hey guys, Marcel here, and we are joined by Power of Evil after his 2-0 victory. Um, how do you feel after like such a clean game, actually? Yeah, well, I'm feeling really good, and I'm actually really surprised that we did so good today, because we actually, if I'm honest, we lost like 90% of our scrims. Kind of reminds me of my world time, when we lose every scrim, and we actually do good in LCS, so... I was surprised, but I think me and the boys, we all feel really good right now. So, uh, I would say... The main fact that why you guys won the game, that you guys played a lot around the mid lane right now, is it something that you guys practice a lot coming into this week, or how's the team dynamic right now? Because it seems to be that you guys are finally like clicking maybe together as a five-man unit. Well, so I think today we played really good around mid lane, as you already pointed out. I think we found really many picks and we just had a really good vision game around mid lane. We got this pre the pressure going, and I could just. Got a, I could get, I could get us so much map pressure by um, Karma and Azir by having these like I would say better matchups the, um, and banning so many mid laners and it just worked out really good for us. So um, I guess we just see if we keep doing that or if we like change things up because we already played around top lane as well. We're getting so far ahead and I think we can do a lot of different stuff. So obviously I think it has been actually an issue in the past when you were playing for them that you guys couldn't really try to find out how to play around mid and then when Pekka gets subbed in, five people are suddenly in the mid lane, right? So is it something that his presence in the game is actually being able to do this when he's playing alt AD carry still? Well, so he's not really like calling for mid lane ganks or something. He's just, he's more like, um, I think his biggest strength right now is that he's not an AD carry main because he, he would just give up one wave and for like a mid lane gank, um, as example in the Ash game, where we got first blood, he was um, just staying in the enemy jungle, losing kind of farm and experience, but waiting waiting for the perfect moment, because I called like an insect uh, Victor, and we got the skill, um, Victor lost two, three waves, we got a lot of mid lane chunk, and he got the first blood, so he didn't really lose anything in the end, and uh, this got us really big ahead, and I think this is one of his biggest strengths, that he's not creeding for farm, and he's like, a really good team player. Yeah, I think um, Hybrid actually mentioned in one of the interviews that the team cohesion is a lot better with him than that actually is with Forgiven. So, of course, people want to know what's like the situation right now. Are you still looking for an AD carry or is uh, Pekka just going to wing it and just say, hey, come, I'm going to just play AD carry for the rest of the split? Well, so, if I'm honest, we didn't really decide for anything yet. We, we, the first thing we decided was that for this, for this week, it's for sure better to play with Pekka. We have the, better, the best win, uh, win ratio or the best win chance with, with him. And for next weeks, I guess we are going to decide um, between do we pick up a substitute, do we keep playing with him in the meantime and kind of get the substitute going, or do we stay with him? Or the last option is that he becomes the substitute and we get a starting AD carry, but we didn't decide for anything yet. And I think we're just we are still looking out for people. So uh, despite the, I would say, unfortunate situation with Pekka subbing in, the whole team seems to be like a lot more, I think, motivated during the regular spits. Especially like Soas and Amazing have like pretty good games so far. I mean, Amazing had a really good series in this game, and then Soas has been performing really like probably your best performing player in the team for the whole split. Why is that? Do you think that the change in the team something like made them more motivated to win, or do they want to prove something maybe? I think it's hard to tell. I would say that um, the style of Zoas, like getting Olaf and Aurelia and Jax these champions back in, I think it's good for Zoas because I think he was a, he was a fine, good tank player, but I think he's a better carry player actually. And as you know, he's playing since season one, so he knows how to split push correctly, and he knows how to do calls, and he knows how to like went to TP in, so I think this is one of his strengths to actually be able to split push and have, have these split pushers going. Okay, last question. Um, tomorrow you face Giants and Knight is the mid laner. He has been looking pretty good from what we can see so far. How do you feel about ga going up against him? Do you maybe scrim against him or solo queue? What do you think of him as a player? Well, so I'm, if I'm honest, I didn't play against him in scrims or in solo queue, but from his LCS experience, he played really good. And I think uh, even in the games they lost, he seemed like a really good player, uh, being able to map pressure while his team is losing. So we just need to prepare as we did for today, uh, look on the strengths and weaknesses and do a good pick and ban and I think we are good to go. 
All right, then you're good to go. Best of luck for tomorrow's game. And if you guys want to check out more stuff, we have them covered at thescoreesports.com. Make sure to check it out and see you guys next time.